Hi, Grace Tech here, professional triathlete, physiotherapist and PTO member. Now, every great superhero needs a trusty sidekick and it just so happens that today we'll be talking about two of my trusty sidekicks. Now, when thinking about the glutes, people often immediately think of the gluteus maximus or the behind glute. This is the biggest of the three glutes and also gets the most attention and the most Instagram likes. So having good control, activation and strength of your sidekick muscles not only provides a great foundation in which you can stand on one leg or when we're talking about triathlons running, but it can also reduce your risk of other lower limb injuries, in particular patellofemoral pain or anterior knee pain. So how do we train these sidekick muscles? Today I'm gonna to be showing you three exercises to help get these sidekick muscles working. Before completing any of these exercises, if you have any pre-existing injuries, make sure that you check in with your healthcare professional to make sure they are appropriate for you. Exercise one, crab walks. So for the crab walks, all you need is a TheraBand. Place the TheraBand around your feet. Research has shown that this activates the side kick muscles a little bit more than the knee and the ankle. But you're welcome to also place it there. You're going to get into a nice squat position with your bottom um, out and you're gonna slowly take steps to each direction. You should be feeling this in the side glute muscles, particularly on the leading leg. So the right leg when you go right and the left when you go left. A key tip with this one is that if you're going down one direction, face the same way going the other direction. Otherwise you end up just doing the same side twice. Take your crappy run sessions to crabby with these crab walks. Exercise two, single leg bridging. Exercise two, single leg bridges. So what you do is lie on your back, your feet close to your bottom, bring one leg up so it's parallel with the other and slowly bring your bottom up off the ground, making sure that you keep a nice level pelvis and you don't drop towards the non-standing side. Squeeze that glute muscle hold for a few seconds and then slowly lower. You can start with your hands down as it becomes easier you can bring your forearms up and then across your chest. You may also use a TheraBand and add some weight over your hips to make it harder. After a few sets of these, your bummed and bridge definitely won't be falling down. Exercise three, single leg squat. Exercise number three, single leg squats. Standing on one leg, slowly lowering, bring your bottom towards the chair and then slowly back up. You can have your hands wherever you find comfortable. I like to counterbalance a little bit because my balance isn't as great as it could be. And then swapping legs. The key with this one is keeping your knee in a nice straight alignment so you're not letting it come in. Again, it's still a work in progress for me. You can make it harder by having a lower bench or adding weights. But if you are just starting out, starting with a higher bench level, I like to have the bench behind me. So it's uh, a cue for me to really stick my bottom back and get that, glutes that glute area firing. These are just three of many exercises you can do to work your sidekick muscles. If you take care of them, they'll take care of you. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.